Luawa. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I greet all beloved. Happy celebration. Without wasting time, since time is on, not always on our side. Let's go straight into the next thing for this morning. The title given to me to expatiate on. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man who can take away any form of obstacle out of his way and his family. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man who God can help to take away any form of obstacle or others on his way and out of his family. Be a balaga as a matured Christian. It's not an easy thing to do. Why? One of the problems that God is facing in the life of humankind is ability of an individual to pray against yourself and to conquer yourself in prayer. Likewise, the title of the message for today. This message can be divided into four for a better understanding. The first one, what do we call our challenges? Let's use the word that we understand better. The challenges, stumbling blocks, stumbling blocks, or stumbling stones, Stump, or stumbling stones. According to Yoruba interpretation, I demonstrate here. I want to demonstrate. You are walking on your way. Maybe you are running. Accidentally, you you stumble at a block or stone, and the person can fall. In another way, stumbling object or stone is what the body desires or take to take the light in. Our body desires it, and if we are used to it. It might favor the doer, but it's never favor the creator. And the person pushing that person against what he or she is doing has a joy over that life, but the person is not conscious of it. But often or suddenly, whenever the Holy Spirit comes and begin to remind the person of what he is presently doing or what he or she has done in the past, it can make the doer to regret of those actions. Having known that, how will the person be able to take away the obstacle. Let's read the Bible passage. Open with me to the book of Prophet Isaiah. Here we pick out the theme for the Ori Ogota Odimeta 57. 57. Read with me from verse 14. Isaiah 57. Isaiah 57. Isaiah 57. From verse 14. To 15. 
and shall say, Eko bebe, cast ye off. Eko bebe, cast ye off. Etu anashe, prepare the way. Take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. For thus says the high. Amen. Amen. For thus says the I, and lofty one that is inhabited, whose name is holy, and dwell, and dwell in high and holy place. Let him with him also that is of contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the hearts of the contrite ones this teaching has a focus let me say Lori she me ana atitioni. God has a focus of over your past events or actions and of to, and today. Ikine first thing. Be Christian in as a Christian. Be a kuni Christian as a male Christian. Be a bene Christian as a female Christian. Be a male shagere oka as a member of the evangelism church. Be a shalano as a as a minister of God. If I do so, alone, alone, I see tiri ni tori o tori ni wajuwa that we need to bolu. The aim and objective of God is yet to be achieved because of the stumbling blocks before us. Alone, one big bobo wa ni elekanka. God is now calling us branch by branch be bale be as head of the family husband and wife male children female children and ministers of God God is calling our attention to it that it is my wish and desire to revive the contrite and humble spirit Contrite spirit, they are increasing numerically every day. And the man I want to use as a stumbling block before him. Or her. Therefore, baby, uh, break, come up. Cast up. When I look at the meaning of cast e up, People that used to construct road, uh, they will understand better. You want sure now, but whenever they are doing road construction, and they discover there is a big river ahead. Woman feed they used to make ridges with bulldozers so that water will not interrupt what they are doing the bible is now telling us that the, it's now telling us that we should make ridges so that we'll be able to solve the stumbling block let's come back home john the baptist when he started his ministry assignment Okay. It was that the same thing he lifted. He was telling the religious leaders then. He was telling the government leaders. He told the people. The Lord you have been expecting is coming. He will come at the appointed time. Therefore, uh, prepare and make the way of the Lord. Prepare the way of the Lord. All the crooked ways shall be made straight. And the ditches shall be filled up. And mountains shall be leveled. Before the day of the Lord you have been expecting arrive. In another word, it means it means they have to prepare their ways because of their law that has, uh, that has an appointed time to come please don't be offended i'm talking too much 
I want to gather your hearts together here so that what is before us will know how to talk with. What do we call stumbling blocks? What do we call it is so good. It is something that we cannot conquer by ourselves with a power, a force as placed on the way of the ignorance. We are the ignorance. The one that is greater than us is the Satan or devil. And our way is the everlasting way. And the way to the everlasting life is very narrow. And he knows that our Lord that is coming to take us to an everlasting life because he was sent out of everlasting life and he doesn't want only him to go into everlasting damnation so he's now looking for ways to make us fall or fumble and gather us so that we will not be able to get there all these things that satan has said before us they have junction at every point in time and this junction are to be considered in this message let me continue continue with it what do we call stumbling blocks and the stumbling block is the problem you cause you for yourself due to what you enjoy today and you have forgotten that there is danger in what is sweet beloved don't forget what happened to the first man in the garden of eden and when the woman saw that that the fruit was pleasant to the eyes and could make someone wiser it was a fruit that is good for the eyes but she never knew eating it would take away eternity from her life and become ordinary woman and this is what can be compared with stumbling block in another way what do we call stumbling blocks stumbling blocks are the things that we are doing presently that we think it is normal and it is good for the body and but the owner of our life the creator wants us to do some things so that he will, our life will befit him let me digress a bit now let's look at stumbling blocks uh, one by one okay let's look at stumbling block in the main contest the first one i've said it what happened in the garden of eden what is even sweet to the mouth even that is even good in our own sight what is good for the eyes after all this is normal and this is not bad and we don't know our sudden entrance into it will cause a kind of regret that will not be able to even overcome or to contain let's look at it in another way the lord told jacob and his household go to Bethel. go to Bethel. i've justified you you have increased you are more than one 
The Lord has given you comfort. Here you made a vow. Go back there. Where you saw ladder that connected heaven with earth. Go there. The Lord told Jacob. Whosoever, even if you or the member of your household, that we follow you to better. First thing. Must not put on any gold or jewelries. Secondly, he must have his own garment of identity. That you can wear to better that I'm taking you to. Thirdly, even the, the, the type of desire for today cannot go to better. Beloved, don't let us forget sometimes ago. Jacob never had it in mind or thought of it that a person like Rachel could still arrive the father's idol. The woman which he suffered for 14 years. He even told the father-in-law, I suffered, son scourged my neck, and I win the rain, I walk for you. Anything that got missing, tell me now, I would have torn in folds. He was told that, that Jacob, you stole my idol. The, uh, you know, Jacob was angry. From whosoever you found your idol today, before everyone who killed that person, and he never knew it was Rachel that stole it. Likewise, Jesus, like Jacob, that is taking us to everlasting life. He had seen that we had something suspicious in our luggage. He, he has seen us skeleton in our cupboard so that it will not, we will not wait until the day of a great challenge that they want you and I to sit now in the God Jubilee of this conference and settle it I pray for you this morning whosoever among you here or people that are watching us in a far distance amen god we help every one of you to see your stumbling block okay, hallelujah hallelujah Monica, okay, hallelujah i say shout hallelujah blessed is the man Blessed is the man that is taking care of all the stumbling blocks in his life and his family. Let's look at another area in this teaching. Why does God want me to settle and remove the stumbling block before me now? Why now? Why now? We are looking at it that uh, what I've been enjoying it for long, this thing that I've been managing, this thing I've been doing, and you have never spoken for one that it is wrong. God, what's your genesis? Let me bring up five or four points. Before we go to the main walk, the first one. Psalm 24, verse 3. Psalm 24, verse 3. This question was asked from God. And Holy Spirit answered the person who Psalm, asked the question. Psalm 24, verse 3. Psalm 24, verse 3. Who shall send into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in the holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure head. At, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from 
from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Look at the mentality of heavenly bodies. He said, This is the generation of them that, that God seeks. This is the first reason we need to take away the stumbling blocks out of our lives. Whatever name you might be bearing now, Pastor, Pastor, uh, Bishop, maybe you are a bishop, Apostle, ap an apostle, Prophet, or prophet, Evangelist, Evangelist, Teachers, teachers Elder, Elder, Deacons, Deacon, uh, even members. Whatever you are doing in the house of God presently, there is one thing that will make heaven to see you as a worthy person. What you use your hand to do on heads, the one with holy hands, with a pure heart. The one that has never lifted up his heart unto vanity and never sworn deceitfully. This is the first thing that heaven is expecting that will make you to have your own identity. The Bible, the Bible did not use collective noun, he said not. So, oh, plural. It is a singular now. He's facing you and I. I must make inquiry to know what is happening through me. What I'm using my heart to do. Let's look at Father Paul. Oh, concerning this statement. Galatians 1 verse 15 and 16 Galatians chapter 1 15 and 16 Father Paul has been talking about his life from verse 13 he said but when it pleased the Lord who has separated me from my mother's womb so that Jesus Christ Christ will be revealed in me. But so that we we'll be able to preach him among the earth. Immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. The blood and flesh referring to you. These are the other stumbling blocks that surrounded him. The stumbling blocks that have been following him. Because he was, you know, he was mouth, he could talk among the people who are the realm of affairs. Just like all our leaders, even from to, to the top, highest Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Uh, yes, we have mouth to talk at the realm of even at the top. This is why he could use his hand to kill. And whatever he used his hand to write, that would be the final thing. Listen to what he used to say. He even said then he thought he was serving God. He was so zealous. Religion. Very fervent in religion. Until the day he obtained mercy. You can also receive God's mercy today. Look at what you are doing with your hands. The way you have built a fence around your neighbor, and your neighbor cannot get out of the fence. Because you also you are the realm of power. But the Paul apostle. I now discovered that God intentionally spared me so as to reveal Jesus the only son. That my preaching among the unbelievers. Because of what I understood. 
me. All the stumbling blocks before me. I'm father taking them away. This is what I'm expecting. Let's look at another passage. It's the case of Father Paul. Let's look at another place. Second Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5. Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourselves whether he be in faith. He didn't say if you have faith. So, you can even be in the church and miss people that confess faith, and you will be far away from God. Why? He said, examine yourselves. That don't you know that Jesus Christ is in you? Anyone who, who is not ready to examine him or herself, it means he's, there, he's doomed for destruction. Let's ask ourselves. Are we in Jesus Christ or we are in C.A.C. Wilson? For Father Paul made a statement. He made a statement. Maybe Galatians chapter 4, verse 19. Galatians 4, 19. You look at the Galatians. Why did he call them my little children? Of whom I travel in beds. Until Christ be formed in you. You can acquire all titles in religion and the Christ is yet to be formed in such person. For and this is our focus for this uh, celebration anniversary. Till now, we are rejoicing that we have we have escaped it. You can even tell the story of this ministry. But since you have joined this ministry, as Christ be formed in you, as He been formed in me and you, and all those things that will not allow Christ to be formed in you are regarded as obstacles and this is what God will help us to settle today and throughout the conference why in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 25 and 26 1 Corinthians chapter 9 25, 26 and 27 Corinthians chapter 9 Quality kidney or e kessan. Okay, so or e kessan. Verse twenty five. At your look, look anything, Jija. Yes, at the body, a man in what two ones in no bobo. In Jawan say, Lati Bade, it did badge. So when I wa a yiti, ki it did badge. Yes, Nitorina. Benny, a miss, sorry, eh, he shall be any. Tiko Daloju, yes, Benny, a mincha, he shall be anything, Tiwa, yes, to a suban, a mink para, a miloju, eh, Mosin, Muasa, Bay, Teriba, eh, Belay, Timothy, was so far away, Lumina, a case, Bolo, Yao, Nitori, own cone, Nitori, own cone, Kia, Mitikara, me, Masha, Jenny, Tano, Shari, own cone, do we any cosse? For whatever reason, is what is regarded as stumbling block or obstacle. In 1983, in 1983, we were in a conference like this at Mountain of Power. Our daddy, Apostle, was the one preaching. He was telling us that that fasting cannot take away sin of fornication. From man's life, we men will frown our face. 
fatty should be able to calm man down. It was as if he had what we were saying in our heart. They said, after fasting, after all, you will break the fasting. And all the weak muscles will receive strength. For whatever reason. For whatever reason, before the day of Pentecost, Peter, Peter stood in the midst of the disciples. Oh, sorry, but Judas is he talked about Judas Iscariot. He said, You know, oh, that man, Anyamawa. he was appointed with us. He had even impact in our ministry. Shuba. But for, because of conventiousness. He was so greedy and he stabbed himself. And the, the stomach burst. And even where he hung himself, they call it the land of blood. Because of his conventiousness. He was so greedy. That was his own stumbling block. With prophet Elisha. Beloved. Say me, He observed that I that just started a of fresh. Should I also practice the kind of faith that elderly ones that are about to die? Should I practice the same thing? Naman brought gifts. My, my, my master did not collect anything. Look at all the tactics we are using today that we are using to siphon people that we are using to raise funds. I'm not saying I miss as well. I'm talking about Christian religion, especially among the prophets and the evangelists. Look at the style we are using. We, we imprison their brain or so that you are able to collect money from them. Beloved, won't this be one of the stumbling blocks before us? We need to take it out of our lives. Let's go into another area. Beloved, the earth and everything thereof belong to God. Whatever happens to you on earth, there is no one that cannot be changed. Open with me to the book of Job. Chapter 14. Verse 14. Job. Job chapter 14 verse 14 he asked a question if a man should die shall he live again if your faith should die within you because of today's challenges even if the sword of the warriors in faith should be blunt or get lost can it be retrieved if a Christian who has been even counting money, the business used to be boom, but suddenly everything capsized. In prayer only, can church life be revived? Maybe it was Holy Spirit that put it in his heart. So that we have the understanding of how to amend our ways today. The, the, the line that follows it. All the days of my appointed time will I wait. Beloved. In our journey. 
whatever you are experiencing at the moment and whatever may happen to you in the nearest future they have been recorded as one of the appointed time for you to pass through Jesus said himself as a savior he has an appointed time to face the challenges before him let's listen to what he said the book of Luke chapter 22 Luke chapter 22 and verse 36 and 37 verse 36 and 37 Luke chapter 22 verse 36 37 and okay verse 36 and 37 and okay nigba na le o wi fun won pe yes sugbon ni sisi yi eyin ayan fe sari elei butter and bread faith butter and bread ministry ti emi ayin ti ati eyin ti n babo nitori pe ri mi gege bi Oh, Jilori, you be covering it. Yes, I. Okay. Nigba, okay. Nigba, na ni owi fun akpe. So bani sisi. Ni sisi yo. Eni ti oba ni asuwa. Eni ti oba ni asuwa. Ki omu. To ni pe tele tele di Jesus so akpe. Amo amo wodi ni pe asuwa. Because but, Jesus told them they should not bother about their posh. Ni to ni pe la to wodi la ti fiya jawa wa be ya ti aswa karama nu bo eba jene. Because through him many people were fed with bread and fish. You want to go into another experience or dimension of life. Okay. Anything at the apopelu. Apo. Okay. Apopelu. Anything go basi nida. Anything go basi nida. Kio tasore. Oyo baso di tasore di eko ba le survive go to wa ni waju eyi. Kio sifirakan. Verse thirty seven. Nitori mo wi funi be. Eba roje so. Eyi ti akowe re kule sai. Kole she kio ma she la la mi. Asi kama awa rufi. Nitori o wa ni ni pati e mi oli o pi. Oro meta ni je so wa so funi eyi. Jesus made three statement here. Every appointed time days for you must surely be passed through. Let's look at the example in the life of Father Paul. Okay, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 7. If we start reading from verse 14, it will take time. Shall be like you say, carry the logo. That's sixteen. Suba. Yes. Be oba she be on ti emi ko fe. Eh. E yin ni emi she. Be ran shola ro. Oh, what the lies be? Ah ah. Kilo she me. He look at himself as a minister of God. What's wrong with me? Me o fe be ye be boje. I don't want to backbite. Kilo ne di mong be ye be boje. Why am I doing this? Me o fe jono fofo. I don't want to be gossiping. Why have I turned to what I am? But if he tell us, we don't tell us. We should follow the Lord. We should follow the Lord. I am satisfied with what God has done for me. Why am I so envious? We don't share. We don't care. We don't want to come. Why is there wrong thought in my my heart or evil thought? He said, presently it's not what I desire that is happening to me. Till this morning. Till this morning we discover that good things are only life that we are supposed to live. We have not been able to live only life, but we are doing what we don't want to do. Baba Paul, you tell me, man, can Father Paul is emphasizing it? I'm not the one doing it. We go share shedding, but you know me. They are about the sin that dwell in me. She are the matter of back for our time. Our days are before we are holy. We are not holy, but we are being forgiven. And many of us when want to prove ourselves, we say we are holy, but we are not holy. We just used to receive forgiveness from God. We are only we are only receiving forgiveness every time. 
Because where we are that we gather here, there are two powers living in us. There are two beings living in us. Physical power and the spiritual power. Even that physical one that we call the nature of sin. And the spirit being that doesn't sin. And Father Paul told the Romans in chapter in, on chapter 6 you know whatever you commit yourself to you become as you become a slave to that master i don't want to get angry but i didn't know how i got angry it is the stumbling block it, it was not my desire to destroy another person's life but that spirit was telling me to do it oh it did go a stumbling block i'm not I'm not. Tamari, the brother of Tamar. Amorogumeji ni laughing da da fidi oba. They have the same parent, they have the same father, but different mother in the palace. And me alade what no? I'm not ni they be going to inside his son. Ni tori ife kufesi aburo ore. The the you the I'm not was carried away by flesh. And he was sick because of his loss for this younger sister. What are we going to do for you to be okay? I want Tama to come and make cake for me in my house. And bring it to my bedroom. And be feeding me with it. Then I will be okay. My you are a stumbling block. I want you to go to me there to our body. There are some other stumbling blocks. They were packaged from the pit of hell. Don't you have a way? I do our law. That is even greater than our fasting and prayer. Mrs. Bishop Adejuma. Mrs. Bishop Adejuma. Ne Akure. In Akure. O sope po si e yon koni ta wo bini o le re pa ke de jadi mo le ba mo. He said there is no man on earth that women cannot pursue and make them fall. O lo un sa o to o man ta gbara ta lo ro fi fun a wan la gbara. She says she say what she knows and what God has, the power God has given to women. And then o la ti bere fun yon la wo a lano. We need to ask for divine help. You know, an outsider can help us to see, for an outsider to help us to see the stumbling block in our life, and for us to make effort to see the stumbling block and overcome it is difficult. I will be a way me shu she mu wa je e wo ogo ti ile ri wa fa sayin nigba gbogbo nipa idigbolo there are forbidden fruits that when you eat it can affect your glory and devil has made us to eat the forbidden fruit of our glory and is affecting us in fact opopolopo wa papa lati so igbo kun wa si oju afefe omi okun aye pe ibi kibi to ba si gbe wade to even many of us we've lost control of our sheep we've let go we've thrown away the paddle and we are telling the sea anywhere you can carry me show but, but, I, but I pray for you this morning every power behind your rising and falling every power behind your stumbling or your falling amen receive victory over it we need a divine help from God it is easier to point accusing finger on others to know other people's problem. It is even easy for you to defend yourself to the level of justification. It's not everybody that can be like that cross-gender Bob Risky. What be lonely a job? He was taken to the court. What kind of They listed the offense. 
The judge has came. So, Did you hear all the allegations against you? He said, Yes, my Lord. Because the judge was a woman. Are you guilty or not? He said, Please, judge, I am guilty. What else? <laughs> he was sent to six months imprisonment. Assuming he was he is perfect in uh, defending yourself in a deceitful way. Even the lawyer should have educated him that never in your life should you say you are guilty. You say, I am not guilty with when explanation. They will accept his bail. How am I going to tell God that God Please deliver me. I am guilty of myself. This is what God is expecting today. This is one of the focus of God for this program. Why? If you want the king of glory to revisit your life, it is a must. You have to get rid of the stumbling blocks to this moment. I am yet to fulfill my destiny to my satisfaction. Beloved, I thank God for what He has done for me, for what I have seen. Yet I have a sorrowful heart. I am yet to run my race to 10% of our daddy or badare. It's, it's, it's make my heart sorrowful. I know you'll be surprised in the pamphlet in your hand. There's no this lecture is not there. It's not that it's not because we are lazy. If I should bring the book, I've written. I want, I want CPC. 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 I don't know the remaining weeks, months I will use to weep. I don't know the remaining weeks, months I will use to that I love doing because uh, God did not condemn it in my life. I continued doing it, but I was preparing for this lecture. Holy Spirit took my mind there and I he reminded me of everything. It's 8 a.m. this morning. I was still looking for Bible. As I was checking through the Bible, I saw my own image. Blessed are you mothers. That God will help in this year conference. We all know our stumbling blocks. Except you are going to deceive yourself. The way you lie against someone in order to take the position. Especially our especially ministers of God. Because you don't want to leave a place. You know how to package your report for the GO. That the GO will see you and say, Well done, you are doing a great job. If by the GO should pacify or give you pass mark, what of him that called you? What of the God that called me. People this morning. Every one of us will go on our knee. 
whatever you can remember begin to converse it to God when we read the book of Romans chapter 7 even Father Paul talked till verse 23 it got to a stage he said at last warn to me who would deliver me from this dead body he said, but by the God of heaven, by this inner man, there is an inner man with you, expecting you to take a step. When Father Paul was talking to the Philippians, chapter 3, especially verse 12, and he said when God saw that I was struggling to get to that everlasting resurrection and that high place and glorious place I received divine help from God God is expecting me to take a step. God is expecting me to go and burn some clothes that make me to commit sin or make others to sin. God is expecting you and I and the members of this familiar spirit that we belong to go and withdraw from lives that we have tied down not to prosper. You won't be sorry. We will be surprised for you for me to tell you that there is still some people that they rely on diabolic power or an abalist. God is expecting you to tell that person if you are going to kill me because I'm no more attending your meeting or come to your midst, I am ready to die. Please take back the power you have given me to be doing the work of God. Beloved, a woman confessed to Jesus on a mountain for you to know the wicked power that is working in us that lady said before everybody that the person that preached to her he said whenever that man is having carnal knowledge of having sexual intercourse with her she used to tell the pastor that sir what of if Jesus should come now what of if I die why he having sexual intercourse with me but he said the man used to give her assurance that that the covenant of his calling has covered what he's doing that as I am on top of you that the anointing of the calling is entering into you can you see Satan has pushed us to a very tough place I will just pastor thank God that God save me many years back a man of God there was a report given that a man of God was reported okay a man there was an, an allegation against a man of God they called they summoned him that they told him to defend himself listen to what he said he said every man has his own weakness that nobody should judge him or condemn him he now said that was his own weak point or weakness that he should be left alone do you know this case is beyond I can fast I can, I can, control, I can control myself there is nothing like that because the power that has captured us is greater than our power and that power won't go to use us according to his will but 
we not to get to the everlasting life for whatever reason misusing your tongue misusing your tongue your frivolity movements. There was a man and the master and his master. When there was a problem, then the master or boss summoned him. What pushed you to those things you did? He said, I inherited it. Is inside my blood. He said it is only a bastard in their family that will not supplant others. <laughs> they have the supplanting uh, traits. They were born that way. He said there is nobody from their hometown or their family that does not have that trait. Beloved. Mamas Rebecca. You have forgotten that mother Re Rebecca. Conceive twin for the two children. Are you, I, am, I am sure you are not surprised in Wosem. We have seen the case where people confess. It was the, it was the mother that gave birth to twins that assisted Jacob to destroy the life of the elder brother. The, the breakthrough, the, the secret to the breakthrough of Esau was in the hand of the mother. And he dropped that secret. Even Jacob has his mother. What of it my father later find out? Look at the answer of the leaders. The mother of Isaac said, Leave that for me. That is, that is the way your father is that is blind, you cannot see. Leave that for me. Even if your father should know as I'm talking, your father is in my hand. Leave that for me. When that problem came at home, in their family, we parents, we should consider that before there is problem in the family. That is the stumbling block in your family. He said, run to my brother's house. Until your brother will calm down. And I will forget what you have done against him. You mothers, are you not going to do the same thing to fathers? Are you not going to make or build the stumbling blocks for the coming generation or for the generation that are coming out of you? Because of the misunderstanding between you and your husband, have you not divided the children between the two of you? Awama, <laughs> children. Are you sure one of your parents has not poisoned your mind against your siblings? Let me tell you the case of my life before we pray. I enter into my hometown for the first time for crusade in 1972. The third day that the revival started. When the church was in the morale, God took me to, into a trance, very big one. 
Mori ati baba ti won fi oparo to to bi ju awon pillar won yi to si tutu ti won bo lori to ni iji mori i saw a shed made of bamboo tree fresh and bigger than the pole here and well the covered i saw it bo wa ri pe mo wa labere i discovered i was under the shell ah Yes, I was converted under it. I my ah, body fe, cooled down. Ah, fe, fe, tu, tu, ye, fe, I enjoy cool breeze under it. You know me don't. I was happy. Eh, wo, wo, me ba, yo. Look at my hand. Lo, Gigi. Suddenly. Mo, wari, be, ati, baba, yo, kuo, nino, ati, baba. I discovered that the chair they were pulling apart. Share, wo, wo, me. See my hand. But te, uh, we see the MRE. Uh, uh, TV. MRE. Maybe when you are watching it on WhatsApp TV. Atibaba, you are not Atibaba. Do you know they, they use palm front to make it and they, they pull, they were pulling apart. Maybe you did that be your cock. And uh, two, they were like, they now divided, they were divided into two. Oh, One dino, before, divided oh, into dino, two. Okay. They were fixed at the top. Oh, what I was at the middle. Then the sun shone like the one that scored the neck of Jonah. The one that was even tired. I ran to one side of the shed. Although the, the top was fixed, no opening. I felt the intense of sun under it. I ran to the second half of the shed. As the, despite the way it was fixed at the top, no opening. I felt the intense from the sun. Suddenly, I discovered that the two shed they were coming to form one again. They interlocked, they were interlockedly arranged. I stood under the shed and I enjoyed cool breeze again. I was so comforted. Suddenly, I now discovered that the shed wanted to dip. Divide it or two again. I used right hand to hold one part of the shed. I used left to hold the other side of the shed. I began to struggle that you will not separate. Your that you this shed you will not separate your separation is bringing problem to my life in the process of doing this i woke up i said lord what is the meaning of this i was praying in the night the spirit of god told me it's God said for the past 40 years my mother and my father they have been fighting each other I was already a man of God then minister of God I've never seen them once fighting or abusing each other but God told me that they have been fighting each other for the past 14 years listen to what God told me God said the way I love my mother if I should support her or stay in her side that the wicked son will scourge me with my anointing and calling if I run to my father because my stature I resemble my father with it that he will allow the wicked son to scourge me that he is waiting for me to settle the case I am telling you now go and take a step I said, God, I've never seen my two parents fighting. Here should I intervene? I say, God said, your father offended your mother. Go and tell your mother what you saw now ask your mother mommy do you want the son of the wicked one to scourge me he said the case will be said to me i knock at the door she opened the door i sat 
on the mat. Why? What happened? She she me. I told her what God showed me. My mother began to weep like a baby. You know when you cheat a child and you still flog that child, no matter how you pacify, you beg the child, the child will not listen on time. My mother was weeping tear from her eyes, muka from the nose, saliva, mixed together. I left her for an hour. She now is ill. She said, It is only my child I can set with. Because she has vowed that until they get to heaven. That they will go and present the case before their creator. You soul winners. Will God allow everyone to be telling God all this? She said it's okay. I'm forgiving him. I went to my father. I opened the door. I told my father what God showed me. You know, we men, we are very strong. <laughs> my daddy bent down his head for 30 minutes. Did my father ask me, Can your mother forgive me? I said, God has taken control. I called my mother. The moment my mother entered, my father prostrated. I prostrated for her. And the three of us were weeping. And we wept till 6 30 a.m. That was where it ended. People of God. Do you want the king of kings to come now with jesus our advocate and the holy spirit the caretaker should he come and beg us on this case let us reconcile with god reconcile with god take away that the, the strong heart you have Check the way until they die my father and my mother they did not tell me what caused the fight but i've buried them we've done the ceremony before the person who witnessed the event told me look at the mark on in your eye on top of your eyes at the eyes lead that mark that the cane that your father used to flog your mother was the one that struck you here for you to know that we are all human beings people of God I was angry thank God they were both dead stand Lord discover me this morning I will be free. I want you to confess your freedom by faith. If you can locate me today, I will be free. Share you, my mommy. Share. If me yoke by ball it to a ball tear to lower by and you mothers, I hope your destiny we accept the sacrifice we are offering to appease to you. If you are privileged to sit with your husband, can you please overlook the incident of yesterday? so that your children will not suffer in life because of the stumbling block before us with a strong head we have planted it that is how we do it in the modern days 
you should not uh, tolerate nonsense there are many things that, that the geo will overlook that God of heaven will not overlook God will ask from you Zachariah Zachariah the young prophet was talking to King Uzziah so he told King that the king please take it easy he was appealing to him the king looked at him he said you because we grew up together do you think you can control me the way your father controlled me or has authority over me he said you people you soldiers stoned him to death as they were stoning him the small prophet Zakaria said he said what you are doing to me today that the Lord should consider it and require it from you what you are doing to me today those of you that you know how to lie against another person you fabricated the lie you cook it they even look for where it could be found but they couldn't find any place should God consider that and require it over your children please that stubbornness in your heart take it away like the Israelites he asked them Pilate asked he asked them there is no sin worthy of death in the life of this man he said we have a law and he has, a, he has even sinned against the Lord. And the the, the consequences for him to be killed. Why? Listen to what they said. When they said the blood should come upon them and their children. Don't allow such to happen. In this year conference, let go of those things in your hand. If for conference, if we the focus of this uh, conference, it means there is a better glory than what we are seeing. Even the things that God wants to do for you and the blessing wants to bring upon you, you have not seen it before. All right, The case of Holy Spirit through Father Paul. One of mystery that God sent him with is that I won't care what you do, There are some things that eyes have not seen, ear have not heard, and it has never come into the heart of men. God reserved it for the people of the end time. Baba, Baba Paul, Father Paul said it over 2,000 years ago which means that message is for us will you allow the stumbling block in your life to hinder the glory David said the king of glory is coming have holy hand, pure heart, and don't raise up your hand in, in deceitfulness. The blessing of today is dear that you are yet to experience. Do it and see the King of Glory will come in. Beloved, I am even praying it in my lifetime. 
be awon omo ta bi ni 2013 ti baba wa sun ninu oluwa the children born 2013 when our daddy slept in the lord ki oluwa ti oju wa gbe won dide ko lo won ju wa lo that god should raise them up and use them more than the way he has used us to ba lo je pe won idigboru to wa la lowo awa egbon won ati awa obi won if we predecessor we are holding kinds of stumbling block that we hinder that from coming to pass do you think god will not include us in the destruction you're going to carry out god there's nothing concerned god job said what is happening to me it is an appointed time for me and i will wait until my change comes there is a greater glory coming to your life there is a great miracle coming to your life and God has a seed that I want to plant at the place of glory in your family is like a family like a family a family the moment i arrived this morning i greeted the geo good morning sir and good morning happy, Eka Rosa. and happy new year he looked at me when you are supposed to be doing what i am doing is still can't be worthy to be part of you whether I am invited specially to give lecture or not, but I am talking based on my understanding. He still need my presence to do some things here. So for God alone, then i have to get rid of all the stumbling blocks that i am aware of i should take them out of my way father paul told the hebrews as we have made the cloud a witness surround us he asks us to lay aside all hindrance. Cherry queen, this stomach. <laughs> if, it's too, if it is filled with too much sweetness or good thing, it can lead to a stumbling block. It can become a stumbling block. Don't be offended. I am not citing myself as an only person or to mock anyone. Some years back, our so called lori, the so called leaders, we were discussing. Someone said among us that this it had told that he has worked with God that the level he has worked with God they are to enjoy in Wosem it was a pity that he didn't even take time before God took him away be careful be careful be careful because the sun that is shining now it might be by 2 p.m the sun can set and another one will not come out in tomorrow what is okay raise your right hand lord, lord discover me in this conference and locate me I will be free. I will be free. I will withdraw from this stupid Lord, discover me. Pray to God. Locate me. Lord, locate me. Lord, locate me. Lord, locate me. In this program, oh Lord. Father, locate me. Lord, locate me. Lord, locate me. And I will be free. Lord, locate me. And I shall be free. Lord, locate me. And I shall be free. In this program, oh Lord. Lord, locate me. And I shall be free. Lord, locate me. And I shall be free. Lord, locate me. Locate me, oh Lord. In this conference. 
ni oruko Jesu Oluwa wa Amen Eja lo ni igba keji pray for the second time Baba Paul lu do niwaju awon oba to je ota re Father Paul stood before kings that were his enemies Won wo di kilo kila shiri igboya re they were they make an inquiry to know the secret behind his boldness Ori tori pe mo ri iran lo won gba lodo olorun ni answer them because i've received help from god Ori na ni mo se le du otiti this that's why i can stand till now Lift up your voice, beloved. Lord, help me. Deliver me from this flesh. Deliver me from the flesh. Before it destroy me. Oluwa gba mi lowo ara kiko yi ki ara yi to ran mi lo sorun apadi ki ara yi to ba ye mi je from flesh lord deliver me from oluwa gba mi lowo ara kiko yi o by the flesh Jesus my life before the flesh destroy my life lord deliver me from the power of flesh lord deliver me from the power of flesh lord deliver me from the power of flesh before the flesh destroy me i am destroyed lord deliver me now. the last prayer is a confession Call the name of Jesus aloud. By your help, I will not die in sin, and sin will not kill me. It's a confession. You will confess in the name of Jesus, I will not die in sin. In the name of Jesus, sin will not kill me. Pray to God. I will not die in sin. In the name of Jesus, say you will not kill me. In the name of Jesus, I will not die in sin. In the name of Jesus, say you will not kill me. Say you will not kill me. In the name of Jesus, I will not die in sin. I will not die as a sinner. In the name of Jesus, I will not die as a sinner. And the sin will not kill me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not die as a sinner. And the sin will not kill me. In the name of Jesus, I will not die as a sinner. I confess in the name of Jesus. I will not die as a sinner. Say you will not kill me in the name of Jesus. I will not die as a sinner. Say you will not kill me. I will not die as a sinner. Amen. There is a song I want you to sing. It's an English song. English there is no one okay those who do not understand three things i pray to see the more clearly love the more dearly and follow the more dearly day sing it two more times Day by day, dear Lord of the three things I pray to so see thee more clearly, love thee more dear. Oh, I'm follow thee more dear. Sing it one more time. Day by day, dear Lord. Of the three things I pray to see to more clear, more clearly, love the more dearly, I'm following the more. Oh, God, Jesus. Baba Paul, who single, single-handedly survived. The Father Paul told us that that I may know him 
and the power of his resurrection I am ready to endure your death I want to reach the high calling of the Lord Jesus Christ and you assisted Father Paul here we are this morning 50 years old those things that you are not pleased with in our lives are the stumbling blocks amen you, do, you, do, you don't want any man to perish the bible says for all our sin and come short of the glory of god all we have done that make us come short of your glory amen you have started with us three days ago we still have a journey ahead of us I pray that that hand with which you have started with us although we can feel it for Father Paul said this one we are emphasizing is good work and God who has started a good work in us he will perfect it until the coming of Jesus Father Paul told the Philippians for it is God that worketh in you to will and to do according to his good will and the power to discover and locate us and to overcome the stubborn blocks before us. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Adupe lowo olorun fun eko na. We give thanks to God for this lecture. Ninu ipago ti odun yi. In this year's conference, a o ni lo leba kan na. We not return the same we have come. Mo ni a o ni lo leba kan na. I say we not return the same way we've come. Ojo o ni je o meji ni akopapo sinu re. Today we put two things together. I the men of faith, Bakanane, I want and our students, Tiwandi Omenira, that are graduating. Kia Tomo Abala, I want Koneoniba Gowasi Ekbekan. Before we put aside the men of faith uh, aspect of the program, I need to come at Kekekeila Tishi. We have three small small things to attend to now. Ikini. Number one. I want adako. The man of faith has a special number. Ikeji. Secondly. Wa oshe idupe wa. They do their thanksgiving. Iketa. And thirdly. I want Baba wa la kosu agba. Wa ugba dua fwa. That the geo we pray for them. Leye yi. Awo kosi abala keji. We go to the second part. Without wasting our time, life ya kuku wa shofuma. I will call the men of faith to come and give us their special rendition. Men of faith. Okuni oni babo.
o rara ali eni o ma won agbada ki lo nse o ye mi fun yo bari lo 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 ma kan to ndo ninu to wa agbada bayi eni suru se mi le ba wi ni e ni ba wi e e ri mo se ro de de ti mo ko e bi no wo o ka sa ko agbada ko gbo e ko run ni ni ajodun amo okunrin oni gbagbo ni wo se mu eh iwa na wa ara won wa na pere lokunrin oni gbagbo bayi o se ti o lo ti dade jere okan kai eh iwa ti ti o je ko raye eh bi emi na ko mo se de ni ale ana to ri adodun yi mo se de lati canada ta ba ti ti pari bayi ni si bo tun lo so mi raye ni e mo ore mi so fe gbo mu gbogbo idiwolu idiwo eto ni je ko raye ise yin rere ku mu kuro ni waju re nitori ti jesus ba de ko ni si awa wi kankan o da ko si wa la a yi pada a yi pada luwa na wa lo Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Agbe Olorun ga fun ori ofe ti ari awa kunrin oni gbagbo ti ile ise ajere oko. Fun Olorun to fun Olorun ofe lati re ojo ni layo ati alafia. Akoli orin wa o re pa bi joka kini. A mo pe wa nigbati ikeji so wi pe ko ni se awa wi. ओलोरी <laughs> पदारे
Nigeria and Diaspora. 
When we want to show up, we will show up. We are still the head. And we will remain the head. We thank God for all the men of faith. Those of you who have not joined us in your churches, I want you to join the men of faith in the ministry. God called us as a leader. So we must lead by example. We are spiritual leaders. We are spiritual leaders. And we are leaders all round. Because he created us first. And everything he made was inside us. It was from us he made woman. And made every other thing. And so we have been we have been fortunate. Because the God we serve is not she. It's is not she. It's is he. Oje Thank God for the men of faith. And encourage you to continue. And stand firm. Keep the leadership, spiritual leadership going. And the Lord will uphold you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the men of faith in the ministry of Wazem. Thank you for nurturing, for helping, for putting us back where we belong. That we ought to stand for you because you stood for us. That we ought to lead because you called us as your disciples. That we ought to be empowered so we can empower others. That we ought to have the lamp in our hands. So we can give light to the world. Thank you for what you have started doing in the midst of the man of faith. Those who must exercise faith. And demonstrate faith by example. Thank you for your love. I say our thanks in Jesus name. Thank you for upholding us. I serve our thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you for what you will made out of us. I serve our thanks in Jesus' name. Today is our day to say thank you for what you have been doing in all branches, all places where the, this vision had been embraced. That men to, ought to stand. They need to pray. They need to be aware. They need to come out and stand as leaders. Thank you because you are faithful. To you alone be the glory. We ask today that your blessings will remain upon us. Your grace will enable us to be faithful to our assignment. That you will give us the grace to understand our calling. And we will stand in that leadership role. You will give us the, the mercy that we will that will be qualifying us to do better than what we have been doing in Jesus' name. All our dancing, 
all our praising, all our giving, all the sacrifices that have been offered before you today, accept them and sanctify them in Jesus' name. Everywhere we have come and with the love of God in us that you will equip us and make us useful for your kingdom in Jesus name and that obstacles will be removed from our lives that our heart and our lives will be reflective of the kingdom of God to God be the glory keep your work going and perfect your work in Jesus name we pray amen amen God bless you Let everybody be seated. We are going to the second segment, which is the graduation ceremony. I will call on the lady evangelist Veronica Akiyemi for the graduation program. See. 